All right, Clay here with droid.work, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, droid.work. And uh, what we've got here today is we've got a brand new tablet, a 7-inch form factor tablet, the Winovo T7. It's available at Amazon. There will also be a link in this video that you can follow. Uh, we're going to unbox it now, and we're actually going to do, I guess, a double unboxing because we've still got it in the Amazon box and very excited about this tablet because I like the 7 inch form factor but I uh, couldn't find one, I haven't found one yet that has a a real good speed to it the ONN 7 tablet I love, I love the way it feels in my hand but the problem is, is it gets a little wonky, especially when it's running Microsoft Excel, and I think that's because it only has one gig of RAM. But the Winovo T7, here it is, right out of the Amazon box, has two gigs of RAM. So I'm hoping that uh, that'll make a big difference in the performance. Uh, it's gotten mixed reviews on Amazon. It usually goes the same way that any review on an Amazon tablet, uh, a tablet on Amazon goes, which is some people love it, some people hate it. Um, supposedly the sound quality is not great, don't care. Uh, the picture is good, I've heard. But then the camera performance is uh, not great, but don't care, don't expect it to be. All right, well, so let's keep going. All right, got two little pieces of tape there. Let's just clip this off real quick. Seven inch, one thousand twenty-four by seven, six hundred IPS screen, sixteen gigabytes of storage, two gigabytes of RAM, two megapixel front and back camera, GPS, Android Nine Pie, uh, MediaTek quad core processor. 802.11 Bluetooth 4.0, 2800 milliamp battery, and then an FM radio. Don't care. What every growing boy needs is a FM radio. There we go. No surprises there. Standard plastic bag. I'm not going to, oh, it's got something on the front of it good, so I can't take it out and handle it a little bit. Going to try to find a screen protector in that. Actually, um, surprisingly and quite happily, it comes with a screen protector already on it. You just have to peel the protective front off of the screen protector. So that is really nice. Um, this is not blue. It's supposed to be blue. It says it's blue. That's a... Okay, it's an interesting blue. It looks gray to me, but uh, very nice. Let's see what else is in the box. I don't expect much. Nice big fat charger. A bookmark, which will always come in super handy on a tablet. If you want a marketplace, you just lay it on top like that. And then a user's guide that says, Our Dear Customer. And basically, who knows, we won't need that. So now what we're going to do, now that we've unboxed it and we've seen what's in the box, and the screen protector is a pleasant surprise because I was going to try to engineer one on there. Um, we're going to charge it up, and then we'll come back and we'll actually put it through its paces. Also going to put this ONN 64 gigabyte card inside it, format it as internal storage and so that's the unboxing there it is the Lenovo T7 um, very nice USB port a what kind of micro SD cards port which is just exposed don't like that headphone jack I'm assuming power volume rocker and at least the charging thing is it's micro USB, but it's on the top. Some of the tablets put them on the bottom and it, you can't set it in a stand. It won't 
go on a stand with the cable in it. So this will actually charge while it's sitting in a stand. So that's it. We're going to try it, put it through its paces. Stay tuned. All right, silly me. I'm just documenting this part. I've got the ONN 64 gigabyte card out. You never know if it goes label up or label back, but let's go ahead and see which, if it goes in the label up. And unfortunately, I've trimmed my fingernails recently. There it goes. Label up. It's all in. It's good. Let's go ahead and power it up and uh, take it through the setup stage. There it comes on. I have not pulled the outer coating on the screen protector. It'll probably the screen will probably look a little better when I do. Um, I'm just not pulling it off just because I'm super paranoid. Startup screens, nothing spectacular. The name of the company. It is, I guess, thinking hi there. All right, so let's start. It is searching for Wi-Fi networks. And what I'm going to do is connect it to the hotspot on my phone because I have DSL at the house and it is absurdly slow. Validate, I agree. I really like the way this feels. The back is nice and rounded where it counts. Um, it just feels really good in the hand. The back is that rubberized thing. It's kind of nice. It's very nice. So it's getting the account info. There shouldn't be a lot to get because it's a brand new account. <clears throat> Google services. All right, so now you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave this one backed up to Google Drive. I really am planning to use this as my primary tablet, uh, my primary InfiniBook. And if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know what an InfiniBook is. I'm going to allow it to use location. I am not going to allow, uh, yeah, I will allow it scan to prove that. Send usage and diagnostic data, no thank you. Uh, install updates and apps, and then tip accept. So there we go. So I skipped the diagnostic data. I'm going to protect my tablet with a pattern. I am not going to require secure startup. Real quickly, I'll do this. Okay. Which, if you watched closely and followed my thumb, you know what I drew. Uh, and my assistant will be right with me. Just a sec. Google Assistant. Uh, I only have one button more, but I really don't need it explained to me, so I'll hit more. And. App info here does. I'm going to say no thanks to the Google Assistant for now. I don't ever use it. I will have to say now that we're moving, this thing is really, really punchy. Um, all right, anything else? Add another change to font size, change the wallpaper. For now, I'm going to say no thanks because I want to see what it looks like. Stock. It's adding the finishing touches. It has a nice sky background and a very simple interface. And these are bouncing, I guess, so that I'll know. That. And of course, very nice Android 9.0 Pi, minimal install. I don't see a single app that's not part of the regular setup. Maybe the voice sound recorder and the FM radio are non standard, but all the rest of it is good. So let's go in and look at settings real quick which I could have also done by pressing settings right there. Matter of fact, let's do that. And the real critical factor is, is what storage like. All right, so it's 29% used. It's 4.63 gigabytes used of 16 gigabytes. So 11 gigabytes remaining. The disk is corrupted. Let's see if we can fix that. We're going to set up the SD card. We're going to format it as tablet storage. Format the SD card. Don't remove the card while it's being formatted. Probably a really good idea. One that I can abide by thoroughly. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I would definitely, at this point, just my gut check says this is a winner. It'd be a real winner if it was $10 less. Okay, move content to card. I am going to move what content I can, but really you can't because it's not going to, all the stuff that's in the ROM right now is probably going to stay in the ROM. But I'll, I'll give it points for it. It feels good in the hand. It feels really good. It's a nice one-hand tablet. Um, it seems way punchier than the other 7s with 1 gig of RAM. Uh, it has a screen protector already installed. Uh, all of these add up to a really good experience. So, all right, so we have a total of 8, 9 gigabytes used out of 80. So 3.45 gigabytes on the card. It may have actually moved some data, but it's still taking up 4.64 on the thing. All right. So the next thing we want to do is, uh, oh, that's right. Sorry. Here we go. We want to uh, go to the Play Store and just go to here to here. The little hamburger menu up here, my apps and games, and basically what we want to look and no updates available. So let's hit refresh just to make sure. So what I'm going to do is scan the apps that are on there just out of the box um, to see, and there's no updates. This this thing is just completely ready to go. All right, so you can see it's installing a bunch of apps. They're all here. I'll put the list up on uh, infinibook.club. But they're gonna install for a while, and I have, really didn't tell myself, but I'll try to keep a rough idea of how long I've been here doing it. Uh, it looks like I've installed probably about a total of 30 apps all together. All right, so I've finished the Infinibook conversion. Uh, and I've installed the Action Launcher. I actually bought the Plus version. Um, I really like the Action Launcher. And I gotta say, I've been using this thing about, I guess, an hour and a half now. It's phenomenal. I, I really, really like this unit a lot. It's super thin. It's lightweight. It feels good in the hand. It's punchy as all get out. So now let's put it through one final pace. Let's do the Excel test. And let's see if we can load up Excel and a couple of other apps and see if it hangs in there or if it gets boggy. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Let's open up Microsoft Excel. Yeah, you can access my photos. I don't know if it'll ask me to log in or not. If it does, I'll have to pull it off camera and do it. But it's almost ready. I'm hoping they'll just use my existing account. So I'm going to have to sign in, but luckily it's going to remember it. I could sign in later, but I'll go ahead and sign in now. All right. I'll put my password in. I'm going to pause the recording for one second. All right, so Excel loads, no problem. And let's just open a sheet. There it is. Got it. Um, this is, it's fast. So let's hit it with something else. Let's go back to the main screen let's say I also want to work in Microsoft Word at the same time maybe later Let's write a journal. And boom, it's there. And the title is I Love. Oh. I 
love this tablet. And I really think I do. So unless something is just crazy wrong with this thing, no, it's it's snappy. I mean, it's a snappy little tablet. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to. All right. So the final phase of this test of the unit, we're going to see how it works as a mini PC. So I've got this really. I got to tell you, this thing is cool. It's four ninety nine. It's a little piece of plastic, but it's really neat how it works. It just pops open like that, um, and you just do it like this right here. Well, maybe you pull it up like that and then slide it out like this, see? And then just put it in the notch there, set it up, bring your unit over, and you got a nice little stand. All right, so I'm going to also set this up. This is a Microsoft foldable Bluetooth keyboard. Really neat little deal. Very flat. They're hard to get nowadays, but there are plenty of things like it out there. So I'm going to hold this down to put it into setup mode. And as soon as the light's flashing, okay. And then also I've got this really nice black mouse. There'll be a link on the InfiniBook site because this is obviously going to end up being the official. I'm going to go ahead and put it ready to get it flashing so that it's ready to connect. And we're going to go here. And I just gave you my scan. I will change it now. I'll have to change it now. But so we're going to go into connected devices, Bluetooth. We're going to pair a new device. We'll start with the battery since it's oh, it's a universal foldable keyboard. So a universal foldable keyboard. And we're going to type nine eight three zero oh, four two and hit enter. And it's paired. And we're going to pair another device, which is this lovely Bluetooth mouse. It's looking for it. There it is. Bluetooth mouse. I don't know how well you can see the screen. All right, that's done, and you can see the cursor now. So now I have a whoops, T seven is go. And so it's like a little miniature laptop replacement, a very small form factor that you can carry with you. Um, the tablet, I'm, I don't understand how the tablet can weigh so little. Now, another thing it is, is right now I've used 40% of the battery, and it's probably been running a solid hour and a half. But of that hour and a half, it's been, it's been doing a tremendous amount of downloading and stuff like that. So... I would predict that you're going to get three and a half to four hours of the battery, which is plenty. It's not really a problem. The way you get around that problem is you, you just get a little extra battery, external battery to plug in to bring it up back up to speed. So this has been my initial reaction to the Winovo T77 inch available on Amazon. Go to infinibook.club uh, to follow the links to find out how you can get one of these, this mouse, a keyboard similar to this one, and your own tablet, and you'll be set up to go to use the principles of the InfiniBook and of Amazing Life when you're working. So thanks for watching this video if you watch the whole thing, um, and I hope that you'll enjoy your life.